Now, there's been a lot of discussion regarding the 300% increase in testosterone replacement therapy prescriptions over the past 20 years, but perhaps less commentary on the impact on sleep. So what is the impact? Well, firstly, once we know that you get above artificially, at least, about 1,000, 1,200 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone, your sleep efficiency decreases. What is sleep efficiency? Of the time that you're in bed, what percent of that time is asleep? And we like to see it north of about 85 to 90 percent. But in one study, that dropped down to just 73%. Next, we know that your total amount of sleep is decreased. In a study of young, healthy males who are pushed beyond about 800 nanograms per deciliter artificially, their total amount of sleep dropped by almost 60 minutes. Why do you spend more time awake and less time asleep? In part, it's because testosterone is an activating hormone and it increases the fight or flight branch, the sympathetic branch of your nervous system. And when your sympathetic branch of your nervous system is pushed too high, your sleep quality suffers. And related to that, we also know that the quality of your deep sleep, particularly the density of those big, powerful brain waves during deep non-rapid eye movement sleep, is significantly decreased with excessively high levels of testosterone, which is ironic because it's during that deep sleep when we release our peak levels of natural growth hormone, which is also anabolic. The next thing to be impacted is rapid eye movement sleep. What we know is that once you get past about 1,200 nanograms per deciliter artificially, REM sleep can decrease by about 15 minutes. Now you may think, well, 15 minutes, it doesn't sound like a lot. Consider the fact that normal amounts of REM sleep comprise about an hour and 10 to about an hour and 40 minutes of normal sleep. So a 15 minute reduction as a relative amount is really quite significant. The final thing I should note is that testosterone can increase the severity of sleep apnea. That's where the soft palate collapses and you start to get a reduction in your blood oxygen saturation, or you even stop breathing entirely, none of which are good things for your body and certainly for your brain cells. I should note, by the way, is that I'm not here to tell anyone how to live their life. I'm just trying to provide some of the science behind the impact of testosterone replacement therapy in excess and sleep.